Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here. I so would appreciate the likes and the shares and the follows and the shitty comments. Hey guys. Hi Kelly. Hi Mona. Hi Sarah. Hi Cindy. For those of you who joined me over there and came over here, I so appreciate you very much. Thanks for joining me back here. I'm going to give some of the same messages, but then I'll probably do something different. Um, because y'all's energy is different over there than over here. So I like trying to do different things here for you guys. But the messages are still going to be somewhat the same, the collective messages that I did feel. So I'm going to start with some messages I did get, guys. Okay, and I felt these very strongly, so I will definitely share them here. I'm picking up heavy Aquarian and Virgo energy. And yes, we are in Virgo season, so shout out to the Virgos. Lots of love your way, guys. Okay, I'm getting that whole, like, very aloof detached feeling okay so this can be your energy or vice versa energies you know someone in your surroundings okay i do feel the sense of detachment you are detaching yourself from situations people i mean it's just i feel the whole like you are keeping to yourself i feel i need to be alone it may not be anything personal well for some of you maybe personal that's fine but it's like i just need my space i feel the sense of wanting to work alone being alone it's like i just need to like move away i feel like some of you just want to withdraw your energy you've been withholding your energy from people or situations okay um and this can be in any connection it doesn't have to necessarily be love it could be friendship it could be family whatever it's just like i feel like you're just kind of holding back like you need to put that wall up i feel like you guys are like keeping to yourself some people may be viewing you as being very detached or cold or that famous word aloof um that um every aquarius described us <laughs> but yeah i feel like you're definitely withholding your energy from people you're withdrawing you're kind of isolating yourself okay or vice versa you could be viewing these people uh, or someone like this okay um yeah i kind of i just feel like the things that used to make you happy or that you really wanted they're not making you happy anymore they're not fulfilling you anymore i feel like you lost the luster of this Again, whether it's connections or situations, um, even if it's personal projects, things that used to make you really happy. It's like the sense of like, I just don't care. I don't care anymore. I really don't care. I could care less kind of thing. It's like, but I feel like you secretly still care, but it's just like, you just do not want to deal with that right now. You're like, I'm just going to put this in the back burner. I'm going to shelf these emotions, these feelings very much. So again, back to the Aquarian energy, like I know how to remove my feelings what need be. Okay, so I do feel that whole like I just need time alone. I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to do my own thing. I need to temper my emotions because I do feel like someone here's emotions are kind of out of whack. Okay, I am feeling the sense of somebody being very depressed, very emotional. Um, and I don't mean to make fun, but I do feel like it could be a mental illness here. Somebody here suffering from like bipolar depression. I do feel like suicidal thoughts, which I did get over there as well. Okay, so big hugs your way, guys. Um, but yeah, I do feel like this is very depressed energy here in the sense of not feeling good enough. Okay, um, so you're really questioning yourself if you're good enough for whatever it is that you want to do. If you're cute enough, if you're handsome enough, if you're pretty enough, if you're thin enough, if you're, you know, good at your craft. Um, I also feel the sense of the compare, like you can't help but compare yourself either uh, to other people. Like you may feel like you deserve to be a little bit higher than what you already are. And then you see other people who do half of the work and they're like over here and you're over here. And I feel the whole sense of like <sighs> frustration as well. I feel like your energy is throwing people the hell off, okay? It's really like freaking people out, to be honest. It's like, why is she or he acting this way? Why are they withdrawing their energy from me? Why are they seem like they're so just uninterested in these things that used to make them happy or that they loved, okay? Because I do feel like you are definitely like holding back, keeping to yourself. Um, it's causing a lot of chit chat people are definitely talking behind your back talking about this messaging each other wondering why you're acting the way you're acting um and again it doesn't necessarily have to be anything personal it's just like i just can't right now i just i just don't want to do this right now um ain't nobody got time for that you know that's the energy i'm getting um so shout out to a uh, sweet brown i love sweet brown <laughs> um 
but yeah, it's just like, I just don't want to do it anymore. And it's like really confusing people. Your energy is confusing the living shit out of people, honestly. They're like, is she in? Is she out? Is he in? Is she, like, what's going on? Um, I feel like this is going, to, this might backfire in y'all's face. I'm going to be honest. Um, I know you're doing this for your own personal reasons, whatever it is, but I feel like this might backfire on you, okay? Um, uh, but you're not doing it on purpose, in a sense, it's just, this is just how you feel right now at the time. It's like, I just need this time alone. Um, I do see you cutting a bunch of things out, people out. You're, like, really taking inventory of your life and the people in it, and you're realizing, yeah, I do care about this person, I do care about this, but I just, it's not the right fit. It's not. So why fool myself? Why trick myself? Why live in this fairy tale? It's not going to work. But I still want it. I want to hold on to it because I want it. I think I can make it work. Then you go back to like, bitch, it ain't going to work. You're like, oh, damn. So that's why I think that's another reason why you're kind of like putting your feelings like in the back burner. I think you don't want to face some things. It's like, I, I just can't do it right now. I'll get back to that later. I just, I can't do it right now. Um... So there will be a lot of people confused about you. I'm telling you that right now. There is going to be a lot of like, um, I feel, um, misunderstandings for sure. Okay, guys. Um, I also see somebody sitting in the restroom, like not on the toilet, but sitting like in the corner of the restroom, just like with their hands on their knees and just kind of like, you know, like this. I just, I feel like, um, uh, I don't know. You do need this alone time. You really do. Um. I also feel like somebody here being very hurt because of, uh, I feel like someone's intentions, like they, 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 they switch, like the energy has switched. So it's kind of cost you to withdraw. Like for instance, say somebody wanted to date you and they promised you, you know, the moons and the stars and they said, okay, I want to marry you. I want to be with you. I want to do this or that. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's like nothing. You're like, wait, wait a minute. I didn't make this up. You told me this stuff. Now you're acting this way. Like what? Like, you know, what's going on kind of thing. And it's confusing you too. So now you're like, well, then what do I do? I didn't make this up. You told me these things. So I was in it. Now you are like completely backpedaling. Like, and they're not even telling you. They're just, the energy is like, boom, 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 drop. Okay. So I am getting that guys. Hey, Nana, Scorpio. Hey, Miss Tammy. Hey, Richard. Hey, Angie. Oh, Miss Tate. I'm sorry. Hey, Crystal. So, yeah, that's the stuff I'm getting, guys. Um, I'm getting that energy. On the other life, I did get, guys, a couple of things. I got, like, somebody here um, having hot flashes. Um, whether you're male or female, I do feel hot flashes. Another thing I got, but I got it here. I didn't get it over there. I got uh, something to do with your gums or your teeth. Like, there's, like, bleeding of gums and teeth. Okay, someone's having problems with their mouth. Okay, guys, their teeth, their mouth. Okay, um, no, no, now my mouth hurts, like my teeth hurt. Okay, so that's the messages I'm getting here for that. Um, what else did I get? Yeah, because the messages are not always the same with you all over there because the energy is a bit different. Um, let me see what else did I get for you guys. Let's go to your shell reading. Okay, guys, the shell reading I got here keywords is uh, non conformity. So some of you I feel like again, doing things on your own, like people may want you to do something you're like, No, I just don't feel like doing it. I don't want to do it. Okay, because I don't have to and that again, kind of throws people off. Why don't you want to do it? You used to love doing this You used to like it It's just to bring you joy It's like I just don't care for it anymore. Like you've lost your luster for it. It's just like it doesn't do it for you anymore. And this might even confuse you. Maybe you're confused. Like, why don't I, why am I very uninterested in this? I used to love it. Now I just could care less. I feel like that wall, I feel like you guys are kind of, I don't know, there could even be offers coming your way and you guys may just be, and they could be really good offers and you are just not taking them because you just, you're like just not interested. Um, you just don't want to do it. I just kind of feel like nothing personal per se. It's just, I just don't care anymore. Whatever happens, happens. I feel like you just definitely holding yourself back, definitely isolating yourself. Okay. Or again, you could be viewing people this way. So take it how it resonates. Uh, but yeah, you're just not going to conform to anybody's crap. 
Okay, so people are going to want to come in and want you to conform. And again, this is the Aquarian energy, the rebels of the Zodiac. Like, no, I'll do what I want, like Cartman says, okay? So that's what I'm getting. But there is going to be big transformation, so heavy Scorpio energy. Again, hi, Scorpios. Um, big changes, okay? Thus, new beginnings, all right, guys? Um, other things I did get here, usually I do this for love, but this, I'm going to say it's in any dynamic, any connection you have, okay? Friendship, love, um, because I'm not being drawn just to love on this, on this, uh, shell reading, okay? Uh, I do feel like there is a sense of betrayal, guys, so... I do feel that somebody here has betrayed you or betrayed your trust behind your back, okay? Maybe you intuitively know this or you feel this. And if you're wondering, the answer is yes. Um, I do feel this, guys. So take it how it resonates because this is a general reading. Um, I do feel that there has been some talk or something here. Um, you feel it. You know there's something off. This could also be subconsciously why you're withholding your energy from this person or this connection. Again, it doesn't matter what kind of connection it is. It could be your family, you know, a loved one, co-workers, whatever it is, a friend. Um, whatever this person did definitely compromised you all's connection. And remember, this can be vice versa. It could be you who did this to this person. And I do feel that um, you all's connection was important. It was a good connection versus what they betrayed you for. You know what I mean? Uh, this really is going to hinder or already has hindered your connection with this person. I do feel like this person feels guilty about it. They genuinely do feel guilty and they, they really genuinely do feel like they messed up and they feel sorry. Um, I feel like this person is going to want to fix this with you. I don't know how you're going to receive this. I feel like some of you, this, they might have wounded you a little too much. Because maybe you weren't really expecting this from them or you were hoping that they wouldn't do it. You were hoping you were wrong, but nope, you're right, you know, kind of thing. Um, I feel like someone's going to be really hurt. Someone's going to be really in their feelings because of this. I feel like this is going to be a really hurtful betrayal. I'm sorry, guys. I'm never going to lie to you guys. Not all the readings are going to be great. So I'm just trying to prepare you guys. Um... You know, uh, but again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I feel like this might also be why you're in your feels. You're gonna, this is gonna cause you to be emotional. But that might be why you're also kind of like putting your, your feelings in the back burner. It's like it might be a little too painful where you just, I don't even want to deal with it. I just, I know what you did. Whatever, I'm just gonna. Put it over there. You're going to try to temper your emotions. Now, when it comes to um, your work, career, finances, we do have something good here. Good opportunities will be coming here. Uh, there could be profitable business uh, ventures here as well. Uh, even if you don't see this coming, even if it's a personal project and you don't see momentum, I say still keep doing it because I feel like something good will come out of it. Even if you don't see it, I feel like there's you know stuff in the background. Um, again, maybe unbeknownst to you and uh, will be working out in your favor. So I love this guy. So I encourage you guys to continue what it is, whether it's a personal project, whether people throw those seeds of doubt and tell you you can't do it, you'll never do it, you're not good enough, do not listen to them guys i know that that's probably really hard to do uh but i believe in you guys and i think this will be good for you okay when it comes to health guys um this is where i got scared for you guys because i do feel like there is some kind of dangerous illness that you know maybe is kind of hidden here it's a hidden threat okay that you may not be aware of maybe you think it's just something small it's just a small little cough it's just a small little i you know I'm warning you guys, I, 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 I'm not too crazy about this reading when it comes to health-wise, okay? Um, and again, this can be you or someone in your surroundings, okay? Uh, so I encourage you guys to get checked. Get as many opinions as you possibly can for this, okay? Because I feel like this is something that's underlining, okay? On the other on the other live, I did get something like, um, what was it? Um, Jesus, what was it? Um autoimmune disease of some kind too okay maybe you're not aware of this maybe you having a hard time you know getting diagnosed i also got something to do with throat uh on the other one okay so um some of you may be going through a rough time with your throat there's someone around you please be careful with that um 
I also got chemotherapy for you guys actually here. So please be careful. I believe I got that in one of the last lives as well. Um, also risk of infection here. Okay. So watch over uh, that. Okay. I'm also getting something to do with y'all's feet and toes. Okay. I'm seeing like not the nicest looking toes. No offense, guys. So please be careful with that. Either your end or someone in your surroundings. Uh, when it comes to obstacles, guys. Okay. I did get... Um, okay, some bad behavior is going to cause some troubles, guys. So somebody here could have possibly done something that they shouldn't have done, okay? Um, and I feel like it's going to cause people to view this person in a whole different light. So whether it was you who did something that you weren't supposed to or other people, it's like, you know, you're not going to view this person the same again. Um, so say you really thought highly of somebody and then they did this and you're like, oh, okay you're not what i thought you were i don't you're gonna lose respect for this person or vice versa they will be losing respect for you so please be careful with that guys um if it's you who gets kind of um if this falls on you you're definitely going to be in your feels about it okay and there's going to be a lot of regrets regardless there's going to be a lot of regrets here for some sort of dirty deeds that were done that you know were done in the dark okay uh people will find out about this this will come to light okay and it's going to be very hard to get people's forgiveness or to try to change people's perspective on this person again okay guys so again your end or their end um when it comes to luck, guys, um, again, I feel like distancing yourself is for the best right now. Some of you, you know, yes, it might come off as harsh and cold, but I feel like this is time for you, time that you do need, um, regardless of what anybody thinks or says. Okay, I feel like this is still going to be beneficial. I do see a change in here. Uh, some of you could possibly move, but what I'm getting more is just like, you're kind of rebuilding yourself, if that makes sense. It's like you're taking this time to rebuild yourself. Um, I wouldn't even say work on yourself. I wouldn't even say self-love. I would say like just rebuild. It's like you're still gonna, like you're taking a break from who you really are. You'll go back to it later, but you need to rebuild. You need to just, the foundation needs to just be a little bit different, okay? Um, what else? You're gonna build a stronger foundation here. Um, but there could be a change in environments, okay? I do see an improvement here. Uh, I also got something to do with the law. So somebody here could be having problems with the law. I'm hearing I fought the law and the law won. So please be careful with that. Okay, guys. Um, there could be something somebody got away with and this person did deserve to get punished for it okay so you might feel like what the hell this person didn't get punished for what they did they really needed to get punished for this um so there's some sort of injustice here injustice here favorable days for you guys would be monday tuesday and wednesday all right guys so if there's something you want to do uh do them in those days in that order so say today is tuesday no wait till monday then we go tuesday then we go wednesday okay so yeah, now let's do um, some shell, some shells for you guys. I got this over there too. So yes, yeah, somebody here does feel really sorry about what they did. Okay, when you find out or if you already found out. Okay, um, yeah, they actually do feel bad and guilty about this. You could be viewing as somebody, you could be viewing somebody as a player or they're viewing you as a player, okay? So somebody here could have gotten caught um, dabbling with others or you intuitively felt that somebody here was talking to other people or I feel like you feel this person actually did sleep with somebody. I feel like they were a little bit sloppy. They kind of maybe slipped up on social media or something, or you saw something and you connected the dots. Somebody are extremely intuitive, and you're like, I know what you did. And now you're expecting me to like not be upset. That's kind of whole the thing I'm getting. Yeah. It could definitely be toxic people in your life, and this is why you're trying to, like, distance yourself, okay? There is definitely toxic people, and this doesn't necessarily have to be love. It could be in any dynamic. 
I'm hearing, do you think I'm a fool? Okay, so I'm just saying, uh, like, maybe you told this person or you're saying it to yourself. Some of you are, like, a lost. Like, you just feel lost. And maybe this is why you're taking time alone. If you're wondering about something, the answer is a no. I'm getting no. There could definitely be a Virgo of significance or we have that Virgo energy. I'm hearing like cleaning house. So you could definitely be clean, physically cleaning things out, which again, Virgo season, I get it. Or you, I feel like you're just like cleaning people's situations out of your life. I do feel some spine and some envious energy. But I kind of want to, I want, I want to clarify a little bit with that. I'm going to clarify with tarot, guys, because I, I kind of want to poke at that a little bit. That was a lot. Okay, sorry. Okay, say this is a love connection. There could be somebody who's definitely um, juggling connections. Did things behind your back that you didn't see? We do have the moon and it's upright. There could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer of Significance. If not, that's fine. They could have been somebody who you are at a distance from, okay? Or uh, they could have talked to somebody who's at a distance from them. I do see some kind of traveling towards a person, either geographically or emotionally, um, which left somebody feeling, you know, uh, very much in their feels. I feel like sleepless nights, you guys are having anxiety, worry, you're stressed about this because you intuitively know that this person did something behind your back, um, you, which broke your heart. So yeah, they could have definitely been a third party. If this is not a love connection, I do feel, again, uh, there's something that you might have heard, you found out, somebody did something in the dark, you intuitively know, you kind of feel it, it's causing you stress, worry, it broke your heart, it hurt your feelings, you're in your feels, okay? Somebody here could also be like, I feel like if it's not like a love connection, it's like they're playing both sides. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh yes, I'm your friend, but then they're like over there and they're not your friend and then they're with them and they're like, yeah, I'm your friend. And that's kind of, and you might feel that betrayal. Okay, guys? Um, so again, with the whole envy thing, I feel like there is envy and jealousy because somebody could have found something out about another person here so i kind of feel like the whole research maybe somebody looking you up online they're like oh is that the person or is this a person or so i do feel that okay guys what else do we have for the shell reading um there is a talk you need to have with somebody somebody could have the throat uh chakra blocked okay like i feel like you're not talking Maybe you're not talking to this person that much. Or maybe you're upset you haven't talked to them. Again, though, withholding your energy from this person. You could be waiting on communication. Uh, yes, there will be some sort of traveling. You could be at a distance from this person, either geographically or emotionally, like you are you distance your feelings. You're kind of like trying to temper your feelings from this person. Again, putting them in the back burner because right now you're very upset or you're not very happy with this, okay? Uh, so you could be, again, at a distance from someone geographically or emotionally. Somebody here might be thinking to travel towards you either, again, geographically or emotionally. Somebody here, I'm going to be real with you guys. Somebody here just thinks with their genitals. I'm sorry. This is what I got. Okay, somebody here is very active, sexually active. Um, I'm also getting like addiction to like pornography and other people, sex. I'm getting heavy sexual addiction. Okay, so you take that how it resonates, guys. Okay, um, I feel like you kind of intuitively already know that this person has a wandering bucket or whatever. Okay, um, just saying. There could be a Leo of significance, guys, or somebody here gets a lot of attention, all right? You still care about this person or they still care about you? 
even though you might have found this out or you intuitively feel it. There could also be a Taurus of significance. So this could definitely be a connection, something at work as well, because Taurus also, you know, to me, I'm like the Hierophant card. September could be a month of significance. We are in September, so there could be a Virgo of significance. So shout out to the Virgos. What is this? There's lies here and you know it. I hear, but I'm happy with the lies. So somebody here could have painted you a really good picture of what they wanted with you, a commitment they wanted with you. Um, and this could even be a work situation. It's like, yeah, you're going to have this job. You're going to do this or that. You're going to get this much pay. This is, and then it's kind of like a letdown. Spirit's guiding you to have courage. Again, more uh, Leo energy. Oh, I am actually seeing a Leo. Let me get some more shelves for you guys, because now I'm, I'm going to be nosy for you. Let me make that away. Some of you are still holding on to this. Whatever this is, you're still holding on. If this is a connection, even if you're physically, geographically away from this person, you are still holding on to them. There could be an Aries of significance. Since we did get Taurus earlier, there could be an Aries Taurus cusp, okay? Yeah. Guys, if you're wondering if somebody was cheating, I'm sorry. I kind of feel like that's a yes, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, to the extent, I don't know, it could have just been liking this person's picture on Facebook, leaving them a cheeky comment, um, or other stuff, okay? But I am feeling like there there was some... And if this is not, um, like, um, a spouse or something like that, this could be maybe you feel like you got cheated out of something, okay? Um, all right? However, it's okay, because luck is on your side, guys. You will overcome this. There will be some good changes in your favor. There will be new beginnings here, okay? There could be children of significance, but to be honest, I'm getting more a new beginning here. Some of you are definitely really scared. You're scared to know the truth. You want to know, but you're scared to know the truth. There could be a Pisces of significance. So again, some of you are very emotional right now. You could be in your feels. Some of you could be self-medicating your emotions, okay? Let me get some more shelves. Now I feel like I have to like be super nosy for you guys. It's with love. I'm trying to give you as much detail as I can. This is why I like using different forms of divination, guys, because tarot will give you something, oracles will give you something, shells will give you something, bones will give you something, you know... Tea leaves will give you something. Yeah, somebody here is wearing a false mask. False mask when it comes to love. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like this person promised you like a real connection. Or if they didn't promise you, they made it seem that way. And now they're like... I'm sorry, guys. I kind of feel like they're the ones who made the blockage here. They blocked this connection. I feel like somebody here is scared because they know this connection's good, but they can't help it because they're a bit of a fuck boy or fuck girl. Somebody, okay, I'm going to be honest. I feel like somebody from the past came back and got in between this connection. Boom, there, I said what I said. Somebody they know or they knew. It could have been possibly an ex or somebody they intermingled with or knew through friends or whatever. Like this person kind of appeared back in their life and it kind of caused um, blockage of some kind. Like I feel like this person has kind of lost interest in you all's connection to go pursue something else. But they're still keeping you as an option as a back in the back burner. 
like you know very um five of pentacles is five of pentacles yeah yeah like kind of breadcrumbing you do you know what i mean it's like well safety net if it doesn't work out with this one you know i have this one back home so <laughs> kind of thing okay so they're not putting that much effort in your connection anymore because they're pursuing something else just saying June could be a month of significance for some of you. Yes, there could have been something really life-changing in June, okay? Or there will be next June. Something here that made you very sad, I feel. Or you could be in your feels right now. July 2, that could have been a big one for you guys. You are getting signs, and I do feel like there's something coming that you don't see coming, and I want to clarify that with tarot. I wasn't going to, but then I saw the placement of this here, and it's, and I'm also getting yes now, but I'm, I don't know if it's yes or yes kind of thing. So just let me, I'm going to move these over here. I kind of want to clarify that a little bit with tarot. Actually, I, I hmm. Never mind. I'll wait till I clarify this. What you don't see coming, guys, as in, huh, I kind of got the same parts over there. You will have victory here, guys. It will make you very happy. It could be a water sign, fire sign of significance, but I, it's not even the, the sign. What I'm getting here is what you don't see coming is even though there's these changes, even though there's these things that happen, even though things feel like shit right now, I still feel like you're going to be victorious here, guys. This is strutting in front of your haters. Um, happiness coming through, the king of cups here. I don't know this feels very weird to me like this is a good i love these cards but there's something that's making me feel sad about this i feel like there's something that's not being said it's making me feel i'm gonna use the word empty uh, i i why though i don't let me see Even though you are going to get this victory, even though it's going to make you happy, I think it's finally seeing something clearly for what it is. Like, I feel like some of you don't want to see this person for what they really are, the situation for what it really is. It's hurt you. It's a wish unfulfilled. There could be an Aquarius of significance as well. Um, I feel like you guys could have possibly had a soul tie here with this person because we do have a counterpart. Um... Queen of Cups and King of Cups, okay? But I'm getting that, you know, the King of Cups can make you happy, but also another thing with the King of Cups, this can also be somebody who plays with your emotions, can be very emotional, because we're getting the Knight of Wands here as well, so you could have been dealing with a fuckboy or a fuck girl here. Um, and I feel like coming to that realization, it could be making you very emotional, the Queen of Cups energy here as well. There could be a Gemini of significance. Somebody here could have been choosing between lovers. So I feel like you're still going to win towards the end, but it's kind of like, so what? I feel that's the energy I'm getting. Like, so what? I still got my heart broken. That's why it's making me feel like it's, it's a victory nonetheless, but it's still, it's kind of like an empty victory. That's what I'm picking up. Does that make sense to you guys? I hope I'm articulating that well. Let's see. All right. Let's dabble with something else now, guys. Get some of these. I can't help but look at the star card, guys. I got that one over there, too. So I got it over there upright. I got it over here reverse. 
And there's just something that keeps calling me to see that card. Again, heavy Aquarian energy signifies the star, Aquarius. Some of you could definitely have it in your chart. Some of you are very much in the aqua energy, whether you're an Aquarian or not. I feel like there's definitely a sense of healing. Like, I feel like a wounded little, like, a little bird. I feel like some of you feel like a wounded little bird. Like, feel very let down and hurt by whatever this was. This is why also you could be very in your feels about it. And this also could be why this person, like, they they actually genuinely feel guilty about it because they know you're this queen of cups. There's no gender in tarot. It could be male or female, doesn't matter. But they do see you as somebody who's very loving, very nurturing. If you are a parent, you're a good parent. Someone who genuinely offered love and emotion and they know they fucked up. So you might still, like, win towards the end. But it still hurts you because you feel like this person was manipulating you and playing with your feelings. And there was this other person here. You feel like they were very sneaky. Some of you, I feel like this person sneaked away to see this person. They could have sneaked away like a sneaky link. Sneaked away like on a trip or sneaked away towards them somewhere. It's like, I know the truth. Again, you still win at the end, but it's like, it still hurts. So it's... Not a real win. That's why I felt it was kind of weird. It's like you win, but I, I don't feel happy. Why don't I feel happy? All right. Thank you, Layla. Oh, look. Check it out. Let's see. Believe in the impossible, guys. I love this, okay? So be something you've been wishing for manifesting you might have given up on it again i tell you not to give up two came out the first one is a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries so there could be an aries of significance something's coming guys we do have time to give rather than take okay um it was in reverse so i kind of feel like the person you are dealing with i feel like they just take and take and take from you non-stop i feel like this person has purposely blocked their heart chakra from you I feel like they've made themselves cold to you and this is now your response kind of distancing distancing yourself from them that's the whole thing i'm getting again it's like it was open with promises and now they kind of just closed it like like it could have left you feeling very confused like what i feel like you are very nurturing to this person Don't let pride get in your way. And full moon in Leo. So there could be a Leo significance. Okay. So I feel like somebody here wants to reach out. I do feel that. But I feel like they're operating by pride and ego. To fall out. What is this? A new romantic cycle begins and it's in reverse. So I feel like there could be stagnation in this connection. If you are single, it's like it's been a dry spill for a hot minute. Okay. Um, what else was this? A win-win outcome in a forecast and it's in reverse guys so I kind of feel like you feel like there's just no winning here period and that's kind of what I got with the tarot it's like you you still won in the end but I felt that sadness like but I don't care I'm still hurt it's so either way you feel like you lost even if you are gonna win it's like I, I still feel like I lost emotions are running high Yes, I told you somebody here could be very emotional right now. Somebody could be in their feels. What is this? Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. It was in reverse, so no. Um, no, there's still some talks you guys need to have. There's still some clarification you need to get from this person. Or you wanting to get some from this person. You're very close to achieving your goal, guys. So if there's something you want to do, I totally do not give up. Remember, I got that with the other shell reading. Okay, there's going to be some good opportunities here, some profitable business. Even if you don't see it, there's still stuff happening in the background that you may not be aware of. We do have your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, guys, so you need to put that work behind whatever dream or goal you may have. Okay. What's this? The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. And actually, it was in reverse. So I kind of feel like there's still the sense of waiting. 
I feel like there's a sense of waiting on talking to somebody because we do have it's blue um resonates with the throat chakra so again somebody's throat chakra being closed we did talk about the throat chakra here and over there okay so there could be something you're waiting for this communication with somebody and it's like it, it hasn't come through nothing is yet set in stone okay guys so if you think you're coming to a conclusion there's still a chance of things changing up here for you all okay um Again, nothing's yet set in stone and nothing is like for sure here. And a good thing with tarot as well too because you get a heads up. You know, if you ever go with a tarot reader and they're like, this is what it's going to be no matter what. No, you have your will. I'm giving you a heads up of what you can change, what you can expect. Okay, guys? So, um, like I said, nothing's yet completely set in stone. There is still possibilities of change, okay? Like just because you're going through a rough patch now doesn't mean that this is going to last forever, okay? Can't rain all the time. Because luck is definitely on your side. Whether you feel this or not, it is, guys. So, that's good. Let me see. Let's do a really quick bone reading, guys. Ooh, off the bat, one fell. I'm just going to tell you there is a very sneaky person here in your midst. Here's the bones in case you guys want to see. There's some more in there, but these are the ones I got. Give me a second to articulate this, please. Some of you are just going to completely give up on love. I feel like you just, but I feel sad about it. It just feels really sad. It's not so much anger. It's more sadness. It's a sense of disappointment and like a sense of no in love. Cause you might feel like this person's very sneaky. The obstacles you guys did have, you are going to overcome them, guys. This is good. Luck is definitely on your side. We have the wishbone and the way it's positioned. It, it means good luck to me, which we did get that on one of your cards. So, okay, there is obstacles here and other stuff, but you're going to overcome them, okay? Um, now let's move over here. When it comes to work situation, guys, I feel like there's gonna it's a yes here in something. I feel like this is good though. Okay, what I'm getting more is like you say you apply for a job or something, right? You didn't get it. Then they call you back or another job, a better one comes along. Okay, so it's like first it's a no, but then it's a yes, but it's a better yes than you expected. Okay, so work finances, I'm telling you, I, I, I like this. Even with the shell reading, even with the bone reading, let me get some more shells on that. I want to I wanna throw a little bit of more. I want to, um, how do you say? I want to clarify with some shells, some of your bone reading. This is going to be a surprise when it comes to the work. Whatever this good thing is, it's going to be a surprise. You weren't expecting it. I do feel like somebody lied about you in a work situation. Okay. Current job or old job. Somebody lied to you about, lied on you about something. They try to make you look bad. They're a liar. But this is going to bite them in the face because other people are going to see you for what you really are. Okay? Like, it's going to totally bite them in the ass. It's fine. There could be a labor of significance in your work dynamic. If not, that's fine. Or something could have been unfair, unjust. There could also be a cancer of significance here. Again, maybe feeling very emotional about whatever this was. August could be a month of significance for you guys, too, when it comes to your work, I feel. Or next August will. There could also be a Leo of significance. Now, let's go to... Okay. 
Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces when it comes to love, okay? Hmm. Some of you guys, a past person, what did I tell you? A past person either your end or the person you're dealing with could have kept creeped up on this connection, okay? I feel like somebody sneaked away to see somebody else. I'm going to be honest. That's what I see, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's what I see. Okay, guys. Um, let me leave you with some of these cards before I close it out for you all. love is coming in others it could have been somebody new who came in your situation or the person you're connecting with some of you are musicians okay or you use music as meditation you're being guided to use it you're very much in your power right now guys so try to manifest whatever you want to manifest make sure you um are very detailed in what you manifest and say it in the present tense like say i am successful i am abundant okay one more and then you know what i kind of want to do a little bit of the sassy sassy tarot playfulness okay so maybe you're being guided to go back to that child uh, like state you know be very like childlike um be very playful operate by your inner child someone here's gonna want your forgiveness which i did say earlier I feel like this person really is does feel bad okay let's do some of the sassy tarot Guys, these do say bat words, so I'm sorry. Let's see. These like to call you out, guys, so I'm just saying. All right, these fell. What is this one? Believe what you see. Face reality or live in effing la la land. Choose bravely. This one is get over yourself. Pull your shit together okay <laughs> help people give back do good shit for humanity okay so again some of you you know you're kind of withholding your energy from people okay maybe because you're trying to you know um heal but if you help other people that can also be a sense of healing okay guys uh, it will distract you volunteering i don't know take a shot don't take 12 take one okay maybe two moving on <laughs> okay some of you need a drink um stop sleeping so damn much wake up you're missing some cool shit <laughs> so this is my reading for you guys i hope it was at least some help i so appreciate the likes the shares the cheeky comments if you do want to book a personalized reading please message me here okay guys and um as always stay magical Bye, guys.